Hey, so welcome back to the shop, friends. So we gotta get these cutting boards done. Christmas is just around the corner. So today we're gonna be working on this cherry uh, cheese board. So as I told you before, we're gonna use the walnut to do an insert in the cheese board. As you remember, there's a little bit of punky wood here in that cherry board we made. So I'm gonna take this piece of walnut I milled up and I'm gonna turn it into the shape, or I'm gonna shape it into a piece of cheese. And then we're gonna inlay it into the top of the board. Then we'll flatten it all out and uh, it'll look really cool. So I've never worked off any plans. I just kinda have it up here, but I'm gonna try to turn this into what looks like a piece of cheese. So in order for the inlay to look like it's a cheese, it needs to have the little uh, holes, or I guess you would, I guess they're air bubbles in the cheese. So I'm just gonna take my uh, Forstner, I got three different size Forstner bits. I've got a uh, inch, um, uh, seven eighths and a three quarters. And I'm gonna drill out three different size holes in the inlay uh, to make it look like cheese. So now I can head over to the bandsaw and cut out the outside of the cheese blank and uh, see how it looks. Looks like a piece of cheese, right? It's just a matter of finding the right spot for it where I cover up that punky wood and, uh, and then scribing it out so that we can uh, route and chisel the waste out. So this is another good use for that Stanley marking knife that I told you guys about. I'm just gonna mark it out With a knife, if I used a pencil, it would be too thick. And it wouldn't get it wouldn't provide a good fit. So I've never done this before. It has a lot of the things that I show you guys on the channel. So certainly don't take me as an expert in this, but hopefully it'll work out good. So I decided instead of trying to route all this out freehand, I'm gonna use my Forstner bit to at least take some of the material out of the inlay. One nice thing about using the Forstner bit is the thickness of the Forstner bit is the same as the material that I'm gonna be putting, the, the, the walnut that I'm gonna be using for the inlay. So I'm just going to the depth of the thickness of the Forstner bit. Having those holes made it a little bit easier to set the depth of my router. Now I'm not gonna to try to get too close to the lines with the router because I'm sure I'll mess it up. 
So I'm just going to get the bulk of the material out and then I'll take my chisel and clean up the rest. router is messy but it makes short work of that i got a little bit aggressive but i didn't make any major mistakes so the rest of the work will be with the chisel this is definitely one place you don't want to get in a hurry because if we make a big mistake it's going to definitely show when we put the inlay in and I'm trying to take just the thinnest possible shavings with my chisel, working my way towards the line that we created with a marking knife. But because we're cutting through end grain, it sort of splits wherever it wants to. So you gotta really, really be careful. Okay guys, so check this out. That was a lot of work. I think I probably have 15 minutes with a router and probably two hours with a chisel. But I think, I think it's gonna work pretty good. I put a really, really small chamfer on the back, on the bottom side of the piece of cheese or the cheese inlay just to help it kind of ease into the, uh, to the hole we created for it. So I, I started to drive it in, dry fitting it, and man, it was tight. And I couldn't get it out, so I had to pry it out. Um, but I was afraid I was gonna break it, so I'm not gonna dry fit it again. And um, we'll see how far we can drive it in. Drive it in for the final fit, though. So I want as much glue to touch as possible. Ideally, it touches the bottom and uh, the glue will not only attach to the sides, but also the bottom. Alright guys, so that is a tight fit. It was hard to drive it in there. But there's not very big gaps around the cheese. Uh, once it's dry, I'm gonna have to find a dowel to put in here. I want it to be cherry just like the board is. Um, so I may have to make one. I'll see what I can find. So for my first inlay, I'm really pretty happy with it. You guys are gonna have to try this sometime. Hey, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.